Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Professor Sistrunk, and I'm reaching out to my cyber ops students. Congrats, congrats, you have completed the course. Kudos to you. Now, I know it took a little while for me to get back to you, but I've been doing an assessment of everything that was taken in the course, and I wanted to reach out to you guys and tell you what we would call what is next steps. A few of you reached out to me, quite a few of you reached out to me like, hey, professor, what's the next step? And from my assessment, I pretty much got an understanding that a lot of you guys want to dip off into going for your certification in CyberOps. Congrats, congrats. I'm glad you see it that way. But I want to point out a few things before I move into the depth of this subject. One of the things is, is and as I was working through your material, I noticed a common theme among majority of all of you, the lack of Linux skills. Linux is important. You have to know Linux. So we want to make sure we get those skills up to par. Now, I know that it's a new operating system for some of you, but it's just that it's an operating system. A uh, couple of other things that I want to point out is not making sure you know how to use the security onion uh, security platform that we were using to actually administrate some of the labs that were in the class. So I want to make sure we look into that. So if you are interested and you want to be a part of this, um, I am going to run for the next probably four weeks five weeks at most, what we call a um, study to get you ready for your certification. It's just a real uh, uh, breakdown study of what you need to know to get ready of it. And part of it is to have you do uh, particular labs that I know that's important for the certification. And the other part is to have you going through various questions to get you up and robust and ready to go. Now, with that being said, I know there are other students who are interested in taking a cyber ops class. Like I said in my first video about this, it was important that I uh, run this in the summertime because in the summertime, I normally donate time to some of the what we call non for profit organizations, helping students get to the point where a lot of college students are to be able to get into the IT industry. So with that being said, I am going to run this for you guys, but I need you to email me and say, hey, I'm all in. I'm going to have a personal session with you via Zoom to make sure you understand the bells and whistles of it. And this is only for the individuals who have completed the cyber ops class. I'm not just going to let anybody in. It's just for the ones who completed. And you know you completed it because you received a letter from Cisco saying you completed the cyber ops class, okay, with good standing. So with that being said, what I'm gonna do now is show you a few things about what we're gonna go through. And for the individuals who are who wants to get who want to get in my cyber ops class, excuse my language, want to get in my cyber ops class, don't worry, I'm putting together something now so you guys will have something to work with. Okay, so let's stop this and let's move to the next phase. So I'm gonna go to the next phase, come follow me on this. Okay, so let's talk about what we will actually be going into with this study session of getting prepared for certification. Now this certification has five different domains that we have to focus on. And how I'm gonna show you how to attack these domains is by utilizing your labs, specific labs that deal with security concepts, security monitoring, host-based analysis, network intrusion, and security policies and procedures. These labs are geared towards specifically this. And sometimes I'm gonna have you doing the same lab over and over and over again to get that concept down. With that, we're gonna move into 
questions that we'll have to deal with the security concept. So the exam that we will be taking is called 200201 CBROPS. Okay, this is understanding Cisco CyberOps operation fundamentals. With these fundamentals, I said fundamentals, with these fundamentals, you will know how to go in as a basics, as a basic analyst to be able to sift through all of the material on the network and make sure no one is trying to cause harm to whatever particular organization you work for. So we're gonna walk through this. Now, as you can see, these are the five domains we have to focus on. So you're gonna have labs that's geared towards that. And some of you, I'm gonna pull to the side and I'm gonna say, well, not some of you, all of you. And I'm gonna say, okay, do that lab based on the premise of what the title of the lab is. So you're not even gonna have a lab to look at. You're gonna have to manifest the work through what you know. And that's gonna let me know where your sticking points are. Now we're gonna have a multitude of questions that you're gonna have to answer. So as we working through the labs, we working through the questions, we are gonna consistently move forward. Now, if you can't meet me in a Zoom meeting, cause I got some of you that are in Africa, if you can't meet me in a Zoom meeting, then you'll meet me in what I call a WhatsApp app or something like that. It's other apps that we can use on our cell phone that will allow us to connect. So when we have our conversation, you're gonna let me know, hey, professor, this is how we will communicate. Remember, you gotta send me an email to be accepted in this. To get accepted in, you have to already completed the cyber ops class that I presented for this summer, and now you're ready to get go for your certification. I'm gonna lay down the rules and regulations. You will have to go on an interview. You will have to get certified. And when I say get certified, I'm not saying you go there and you pass the certification. What I'm saying is basically that you will be responsible for taking that test. You're gonna give me a date and a time when you're gonna take that test. I'm gonna let you know the, the program and you will go on that date and take that time. You working up to that date. Okay, so I wanted to show you these particulars that we will be going through. Um, and I also wanted to show you the exam that we were going through. The rest of it is just fluff. We don't have to walk through that. And I'm gonna go more into detail about the particulars that we gonna have when we have our discussion. Now, my objective is to get this running by Monday. So once you receive this video log, don't haste, don't play. If you're not in, you're not in. But come Monday, if you haven't already had a conversation with me, I received your email. And uh, we had a conversation with via phone, Zoom, or whatever, WhatsApp app, or whatever. By that time, come Monday, you should be ready to roll. I'm ready to roll already. You should be ready to roll. Because I sat back this time after analyzing all of your material, I sat back saying, these are the things that I may need to make sure I focus on with you guys to get your certification. Remember, once you sit, receive this video log, send me an email immediately, professor, I'm ready to go, I'm in. That's all I need to know, and I'm gonna reach out to you. So hopefully you'll put a telephone number or something in there where I can reach out to you. And don't send it to any of my college email addresses. You have an email address from me, you know what it is, so send it to that. 